The Just MS Show with host Justin Loizos. Hey, so today's episode is a little bit of a thought experiment. Going to be going into cannabis oil, chemotherapy, HSCT therapies, uh, a little bit on uh, Dr. Terry Wallace. But I'm going to try to be very quick with this, efficient, if you will. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to take a moment to have a mini disclaimer put in here. Just to say, look, I appreciate you as an MSer, and uh, this is not to be facetious at all. I appreciate you, I really do. And these journeys are, are unique, complex, ups, downs, backs, forths, different dimensions at times it feels like, you know, and my journey is different from yours. So this, what I'm about to talk about is my journey. I would love to do this thought experiment again as like a, almost just like a round robin to throw the ball around and, and to just keep exploring ideas. It's, it's fascinating, but I'll, you know, I'll get the ball rolling here and we can maybe go into the comments or whatever. But if I could do this again with one, two, three people, I'd love it. Okay, so I appreciate you, appreciate your therapies, but at the same time, I'm 10 years with this now. I've made mistakes, I wanna share my mistakes. And uh, yeah, what I worry about is confirmation bias. Like where, you know, maybe we, we just for a joke, you know, we, we started eating this new grape and then we say, oh, it's this grape. And every, if, if it, things are, you've got to try these grapes and grow the grapes yourself and whatever. Now it's grapes, grapes, grapes. Okay. It wasn't the grapes, but you're aligning what you need to, to confirm that the grapes are what is making you feel better. Anyway, so my grapes have been mainly cannabis and I use cannabis still to this day on a daily basis in various forms, but not like as I was trying to use it at this time in 2013 or as a disease modification instead of chemotherapy, instead of HSCT stem cell. Well, yeah. Um, But it, you know, like, okay, so I am signed up for chemotherapy. And then once I fail the chemo, which usually happens with MS, then I get put into the queue for the HSCT. Now, I started taking the cannabis oil without the whole spiel. And within a, call it a week, my toes started to move. They call me in for the chemo. I said I couldn't make it. They call me in a few weeks later. I'm using a walker now. I'm like cheering. I think... The cannabis oil is what's done this. And maybe it had a role, but it, you know, upon reflection, some years later, I don't feel as though what I feel potentially was that that was just gonna happen. MS just is crazy. And I had a very aggressive active version is going up, it was going down on its own. So now let's take cannabis out of the equation and we move the timeline slightly to the effect and it's just for the thought experiment. So now we're, we're, I'm doing the chemo and the chemo works. And I'm thinking, wow, my toe starts to move and I'm in a walker and I'm, I'm finishing up the chemo and, and everyone's like, wow, chemo worked for you. The great. Okay, cool. Good. On to the next, on to the next. Maybe doctors move on. Great. I'm feeling better. I continue with Terry Wallace protocol. Everything's going good. Okay, fine. But ups and downs back in the hospital. We try that. We don't know. Who knows? Okay. So then let's say that I, I, that didn't happen. We, the timeline got shifted a little bit and that didn't, the, 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 whatever, maybe because of the cannabis oil or what didn't kick in that act that pushed the pace a little bit. I don't know. Let's just say for this experiment, basically what I'm trying to say is that what if I would have taken the HSCT stem cell, then my toe starts to move and then I'm using the walker and start doing better and then up and down and whatever. 
what I'm trying to say is that I would not have been able to reflect and said, wow, to make this thought experiment because I wouldn't have had this perspective. But this perspective now is that upon reflection, I can say that I'm pretty damn sure that it was just the MS. It was just the crazy path of the wild disease that is MS, especially in the form that, like I was, I was told I had malignant, uh, aggressive MS, right? And uh, they were just trying to pin it down somehow. So I feel as though that the, when I started taking the cannabis oil and I'm saying that my toe's starting to move, I'm thinking this is amazing, you know, like what else did I have? I didn't have enough data on this, you know, and just wanted to feel better, right? So that's all I worry about. And I see a lot of um, clinics out there around the world in Russia, South America, Sweden, a little better. But yeah, they're all around the world and they're expensive. And there's other therapies out there and I just worry. So I just remember the conversation should continue and we, I need to help each other out. Um, would I tell someone not to take it? Not necessarily, no. Would we want to have this conversation? Sure. Um, do, do you need to have a, a, this type of MS to take this uh, therapy? No. Um, you know, these are tough questions. And uh, yeah, I won't even go any further because I don't, I don't want to put too much thought into that particular path because fundraising, you know, there's so many factors that, that become into these you know, 80,000 or depending on whatever your currency is, um, it's expensive. And for most MS patients, you don't have the, the finances uh, available for these types of therapies. And if they're not guaranteed, to, not even guaranteed, it's just, you understand what I'm saying, right? We have this, this confirmation bias and all we want is to feel better. There are unfortunately people who will take advantage of this. Be cautious, be careful. Let's stay connected. Just MS, Justin Loisels. Thanks for tuning in.